Hundreds of freed captives have been reunited with their families in East Ukraine's conflict zone as the army and anti-government forces completed their biggest prisoner swap so far. Many of the army's captives were women caught up in the standoff. The prisoner swap is seen as a rare sign of cooperation between Kiev and the defiant regions of eastern Ukraine. It also comes against a backdrop of stalled peace talks. The sides called off a round of negotiations which were supposed to take place in Belarus on Friday. RT's Roman Kostarev is one of the few international correspondents in Donetsk, the focal point of the conflict. The opposing sides in the Ukrainian conflict are still far from calling an end to the war, and the prisoner exchange agreement seems to be their only common ground. 145 Ukrainian soldiers, as well as territorial defense volunteers, have been released, and the self-defense forces of the so-called Donetsk and Lugansk People's Republics welcomed home 222 people. Of those, only a fraction actually took part in battle. The rest, civilians, including at least 30 women. I was arrested in my house in Mariupol by the Ukrainian security service, suspected of planning and coordinating terror acts. The accusation has not been proven. I spent three and a half months in detention. It's hard to gauge whether these men will return to fight in the east of Ukraine, as not many are ready to speak openly. But for some, the horrors of their experience were enough to say never again. Is it pleasant to see torn bodies? I don't think a normal person would want to return to war after seeing all this. The Ukrainian soldiers are returning home in good health, and those wounded in battle have received appropriate medical care. One of the guys from the Ukrainian side had serious problems with his arm. An amputation looked like the only solution. But our doctors attended to him and saved his arm. His commander called us to say thank you. The prisoner exchange is in accordance with the agreements of the Minsk contact group that's mediated by the OSC and Russia. The formula? All for all. On Saturday, another five Ukrainian soldiers will be sent home from the self-proclaimed Lugansk People's Republic. But that's not the end of the matter, as a number of people on both sides remain missing. Roman Kosrev, RT, Donetsk.